Good morning, YouTube lofties here, the lofty biker. I've gone back up to Dam Rolls. Unfortunately, I had to come up for a second time because I had a bit of problem with the camera, a bit of footage got corrupted, so I'm back here again. I've got the Enfield 2024 Enfield Himalayan 450, the brand new water cooled version. I've been looking forward to riding this for a long time. I hope you're looking forward to seeing it. If you're interested in seeing the Royal Enfield 450 Himalayan, you stick around. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, good morning YouTube. Lofty's here, Lofty's back. I'm ever, ever so excited. I've been waiting for this bike to come. This is the brand new for 2024. Royal Enfield Himalayan Himalayan 450 whatever you want to call it Himalayan Himalayan it's more or less double the power of the, egg, the outgoing model I believe they're not being imported into the UK anymore the old ones so when these become properly available in the next week or two this will be the only one you can buy It's fairly comfy, the seat's fairly hard, but it's not a problem. Handlebars are nice and wide, fairly high. I'll test it standing up in a sec. The pegs are fairly high because, of course, it's a semi off road bike. I do like the, uh, the look of the back tyre. 140 80 looks great. Oh, that holds a fabulous line. That's a nice bike that is, a bit of a brick there. Yeah, round the island no trouble. The dashboard's nice, TFT, connectivity, how about that? Here we go. Very nice, let's just try it standing up. Yeah, that's, a, that's quite comfy standing up. The tank's not too bad, it's fairly narrow but it's okay. Anyway, shall we have a look at it? Okay, YouTube, what do you reckon? The Enfield. Nice looking bike, isn't it? Not so keen on the grey, but there's other colours. Let's have a look. So as you know, the old story, six foot five, 16 stone, Royal Enfield. Quite tall. There we go, I'm standing up, I'm full flat footed. Drop on it, sink slightly. Not bad at all though, feet on the rest. Good cutaway, no problem at all. I can get toes on, foot on. It's not, it's comfy. Got a centre stand as well. Have a look at this. Not bad, is it? It's got all the usual features. Good rack. Twin seats. Let's get back on. I think it's cracking. I do. It's ever so, ever so comfy. You can slide back, slide forwards. No trouble at all. Shall we have a closer look? It's a bit of a walk round. I'll leave it on the centre stand. Quite imposing, isn't it? Nobly looking tyres. Chain drive, of course. Now, I'm not sure what you can see of the dash. I'll just come out a bit. Nice big dash, TFT dash, round dash. Round the outside, we've got a radial digital tachograph. We've got a radial fuel gauge. We've got gear indicator, miles per hour. We've got the time, the temperature. And number of miles, Odo, ABS, engine light, the course, because it needs starting. So let's just pan out and have a look what we've got. Mickey Mouse ears. Hydraulic front brakes, non adjustable. We've got an hazard warning. We've got the start, 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 stop all in one button. We've got the modes. So we can have eco ABS on, eco rear ABS off. 
performance ABS on, performance rear ABS on. I'm going to leave it in performance with the ABS on. So we'll pan across again. We've got USB-C, single USB-C. Fuel tank, of course, the filler. Coming across to the side, Mickey Mouse ears again. We've got cable clutch, non-adjustable. We've got pass light, high and low beam, indicator button, horn. We've got this little joystick here for altering uh, the trips. That's about it, really. It's quite good, isn't it? Shall we start it up and have a listen? So there's the dash shooting into life. That's good, isn't it? Let's have a listen from the side. Let's get the full stats out. So, full title. 2024 Enfield 450 Himalayan. It is a 450cc water-cooled single cylinder, four valve, double overhead cam engine. Six speed chain drive. This is where it differs a big, big time from the old one. This is 40 brake at 8,000 revs. 29.5 foot pound at five and a half. We've got 17 litres of fuel. It'd be, it's pretty fugal. I should imagine you can get 70, 80 to the gallon out of it, so don't worry about only having 17 litres. We've got medium seat height of 825, and we've got a reasonable weight of 196 wet. On the front, we've got 90, 90, 21 Seat tyres. They're nice. They're, um, they're an off-roady thing, a bit like an anarchy. They're pretty good, actually. We've got one disc, single disc, 320mm with a two-piston Broy Bay badged up caliper. They're upside down forks, 43mm, show us. Excellent. Here's your chain drive. Here's your little cannon launcher. Horizontal rear shock. We're running 140, 80, 17. Now I like these tyres, they're quite chunky. They're a good profile. I think they look really good. We've got a single 270mm disc with a one-piston Bry Bay caliper. As I say, I'm not over keen on the colour, but there's, I think there's five colours. The black one with the yellow trim looks superb. We've got ABS. You can disconnect the rear, like I said. We got connectivity, we've got what's called the trip app, it's built into the screen and it's full TFT. We got LEDs all the way round. It's cracking, it is a nice looking bike. It's so much nicer than the old one, I think. More purposeful. I really do think it looks superb. What's it gonna cost you? 5,750 smackers. Five, seven on the road. It's a little bit dearer than the old one. You're getting a lot of bike for your money, ain't you? You know, when you think, when you look at, you compare it to the, to the, the BMW, this looks a far, far superior um, built, finished, and uh, aesthetically pleasing bike than the BM. I think it's more in line with the, um, the Super Adventure from KTM. But to be fair, I've got to say, I think I prefer the looks of the Enfield to the Super Adventure. Anyway, let's give it a bit of a ride and I'll let you know all about it. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, YouTube, here we go. Out the National, into the 50. All clear on the island. Right, let's get up to 50. Immediately, it feels much, much peppier than the old bike. I mean, it's night and day power-wise over the old bike. Don't get me wrong, this isn't what you'd call a fast motorcycle. It's not meant to be a fast motorcycle. It's meant to be a dual-purpose motorcycle that you can get on any day of the week and go anywhere in the world. And to be fair, that's what it'll do. It'll go anywhere, over any terrain. Uh, I'd say the seats in position, it's a little bit armchairish. I'm quite straight backed. I'm, I'm against the stop. I've got loads and loads of knee room. I like it. 
As I say, you know me, I'm a big chap. Six foot five. It's lovely. Fairly talky. Just dropping down. It drops into a 30 over the bridge. There's a few people about, so. Straight up to 50. Dropping down to the 30. Into third gear. Got good leverage on the bars, good leverage. Don't need a lot of input to turn it. Slightest bit of a push on the other bars for the counter steer and round it goes. Yeah, that's nice. I do like the handling. As I say, the seat's on the firm side, but that's not always a bad thing, is it? We've got a bit of, bit of water coming across the road here, off the fields. It's absolutely beautiful day today. Spring has finally returned to Cornwall after a long wet winter. It is beautiful. I'd go so far to say is it's warm. How about that? Warm. It's short sweater. Get your shorts on. I can't wait to get mine on when I get home, get this big suit off. So we're just nibbling up the hill, holding a nice line. 28, 29 mile an hour. Hang on. There's always a bit of traffic about in St. Denis. We're going round the corner, down the hill, past the calf. Thank you, sir. Nice little calf, that. Yeah, third gear holding 30s, no problem, it's a cinch. And we're doing from 25 mile an hour, just squeeze it a bit. Up it goes again. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to stop for the bus. He's a lot bigger than this little Enfield. Obviously, they was all stuck behind the bus. All clear. I must admit, I thought the engine would be a little bit more refined, a little bit um, quieter, being water-cooled, you know, with a water-cooled jacket on it, just to deaden some of the sound. Thank you. Uh, it's, uh, it's fairly noisy. It's not so bad once you get it up to about 5,000 revs. Yeah, it's okay. Here we go. The indicator button feels okay, quite nice. It's fairly high. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that for handling. Let's give it some rev. Yeah, that's sub 6,000 revs. Straight up to 60. A cinch. We're getting a bit of vibes through the bar. Very little through the pegs and very little through the seat. That's good. Very nice. We'll drop it in. Yeah, that's good. And again, a bit of a gear change on each one. The roads are a bit moist here again. Yeah, that's ice. A bit of debris on the road, we're round it. As you know, I love little bikes. I like this. I do like this. This is the sort of bike you could have in the garage and go for a ride on a weekend, go to work every day. You're know, slow riding. But it don't get much easier than that, does it? U-turns will be a doddle. Here we go. 
I don't know whether this temperature gauge is right, but it's showing uh, 8 minutes to 2 and 19 degrees. 19 degrees. The hottest it's been in Cornwall for weeks is about 12. So as you can appreciate, it feels beautiful. It's a lovely day. We're just nibbling down the hill, 25 mile an hour. I'll wait for the car. Here we go. Thank you. And another one. Officers, gentlemen and scholars. Thank you. Fourth gear, 30 mile an hour up the hill. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll just put it back, fourth gear, roll on. That ain't bad, you know. Here we go at the bend. I'll keep it in fourth, I'll just drop it in. These tyres are lovely in the dry. OK, nothing behind, nothing in front. Let's test out this back brake. 40 mile an hour, back brake. Not bad, I can feel the ABS pulsing. And I'd have to give it quite a firm stamp, but it is a stability device after all. 40 mile an hour around the bend. Are we all clear? We're all clear, nothing about front brake. A lot of dive, but it's not bad, you know, it's only got a single stopper on and a two piston bribery on the front, not bad. So here we go, around the corner, drop it in. Down the hill, quite steep, front and back. Yeah, that's fine, that is. There's no problem. There's no worries with the brakes. The brakes are good. Drop a cog, and another one, tip it in. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, as I say, I can feel quite a bit of vibes now at this sort of revs, 5,000 revs, but it's okay. Over the bridge. Very nice. Tip it in again. It's got a good, good firm end. The rake handle's perfect. Just sets it up so nice for a bend. Here we go again. Smack on 60, fifth gear. That's solid, absolutely solid, holding a beautiful line. Little clutch that's changed it to six, very nice. getting carried away, I'm enjoying myself. I do like the handling of this bike. I've ridden bikes a lot more money than this and uh, have an handle as well. So here we are at the island. So what do you reckon it's worth? They've got grey ones, white ones, black ones. All sorts of colours, about four or five different colours. What, what do you think it's worth? How much would you pay for a water cooled Himalayan? Would you pay 5,700? That's the price. It's took a while to actually, well, get them to actually agree what the price was going to be. And that's the price 5,700 pounds. It's a lot of bike for the money. Here we go. No trouble up to 70. Yeah, that's easy peasy. I'm getting a lot of wind noise, but I'm getting no blast, no, no nasty turbulence. It's very nice. The little screen does appear to be quite effective. 
Here you go, they're telling us not to waste water. This has been running now for two years. Well done, Southwest Water. Okay, just the gears, no brakes yet. Yeah, that's lovely. I really like the front end. The pegs that I, I'm getting no scraping, no touching down at all. That's good, really. Here we go. Clutch us all the way up. Look at this. Who needs a quick shifter? Yeah, it'll pull up to 70 up a steep hill with my 16 stone on it. Anyway, I'm going to slow down and drop in. Give it a bit of a, a bit of a rest after humping my big weight around. Well, like I say, here it is, 5,700 pound on the road. I'm six foot five. I'm 16 stone. I'm a big lad. I love it. It's comfortable. The seats, although it's firm, it's comfortable. I really like it. I hope you like it. Come and test ride it. I'd say thank you to Simon for letting me have the bike at Damerals. And I've really enjoyed riding this, seriously. I would seriously consider having one of these. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, the Lofty Biker video, and you'd like to see some more videos of mine, click on that like, subscribe, ring that little bell, ask me a question. I'm only too pleased to answer, you know that. But uh, this is Lofty saying to off for now, you know. I've got to go. I've been out most of the day enjoying this lovely sunshine. I've got to take this beautiful bike back to Damrolls. And I've got to get home to the missus, to her indoors. She who must be obeyed. So, this is the lofty biker saying, ta for now. Ta-da.